Tom Stalker is one of Britain's best hopes for an Olympic boxing medal and if he achieves that next summer it will represent a remarkable turnaround in his own life. Yeah, Tom from Heighton was a teenage tearaway until he discovered the sport which changed his life. And the latest of his special reports with our Olympians, Steve Parry, has been to meet Tom. Josh Taylor is devastated. He gave it everything. He's world number one, a favour for an Olympic medal, but Tom Stalker's life could have been so different. Listen, only for boxing, Steve, I, I've been jailed now. I've been brought up right by, by my mum and stuff, but when I got to, like, 15, I started going out, petty crime, robbing cars, like, doing silly stuff, and... Um, I was going out drinking on the streets and just taking petty, silly, silly drugs, which, like, I'm not proud to say it now. It was a birth and a death which changed his attitude. I turned 18, my nan died, the birth of my little, my little girl, Ellie, um, and then I, I've just got in the boxing gym and I've not looked back from there. The gym he went to is now a church car park. Nothing I'll ever compare to my, my amateur gym, St Aloysius. It's just sad it's not even. How does the church and boxing mix? I don't you know what the funniest thing is, we used to go in there for Sunday and we used to be give tea out, do all stuff in the in the church. We're all bad boxers, so called boxers are bad people. We used to be in every Sunday with all like the old, older people helping out. A terrific last run by Thomas Stoker and the captain has led by example. From those beginnings, Tom's become Commonwealth champion and picked up a room full of medals. If a medal in the in the Olympics, I'll be, I'll be the first person to ever medal in every every competition. So I'll go down in history. <laughs> His current coach thinks that Tom can do just that. I'm not nervous at Tom because I know how good he is. I know how good he can be. He can go there and get a gold medal. He's, uh, he's just so fast and so sharp and he gets hard as well. He's got, he's got everything. It's got a bit of a Rocky-like feel hanging out with you, to be honest. When you go running around the streets around the park, do the kids all follow you? Uh, do you know what? I've had it, to be honest, I've had it a few times, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, all like the little kids only winding me up, isn't it? It's because they can relate to me because I'm just one of them, just a normal. Scouse lad who's doing, who's doing well and um, it's, it's, it's brilliant, I've got the best support ever. So uh, show us what you used to do, a bit, bit of shadow boxing and then into a run. One of these. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's run it. No, look, 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 sideways. Oh, sideways. <laughs> I think he challenged him to a swim next. I think Steve was more comfortable with he's that. He's not as fit as he used to be, is he, Steve? Although Bless him. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, next.